Hey everybody, it's uh, Brooklyn Prepper back here. Okay, um, you know, I'm going to be doing a couple of little things before I get into all my dehydrating stuff. I'm still waiting for my dehydrator. It didn't come yet. Still waiting, waiting. Damn it. All right, but anyway, I'm going to do little things. I'm going to call them my, when I'm on my lunch break at work. I mean, these are little uh, lunch break with Brooklyn Prepper, you know? So, uh, what I'm going to make try to make for you today and show you what I do. I made a couple of these and they work out good. I have them around my house the house I have up in the mountains, and uh, a little security system. It's real cheapy, cheap to make, uh, easy to make, right? And, uh, you know, let me show you how to do it. Okay, let's get started. I don't got much time. I'm on lunch, all right? A couple of things you're going to need. This is what you're going to need to make it. This is going to be your new security system on the cheap for around your house. You're going to need a light switch. You're going to need a little, uh, this is a, uh, 6 to 12, 6 to 14 volts, a uh, little siren, all right? You can find them in Radio Shack. They're really cool. You're going to need wire, all right? You're going to need a battery holder. You're going to need batteries, all right? You're going to need a little light thing, whatever, your little light socket that you screw a little light bulb into, okay? And that's that. Uh, what else? You're going to need a, you're gonna need a soldering iron, maybe a screwdriver, a a drill gun, and uh, an old empty box of whatever you want to make it out of. Okay, I picked this box. This used to have uh, drill bits in it, you know. I don't know what happened to all the drill bits, you know. It's like a strange thing happens. You drop a drill bit on the floor, you put the drill bit on the side for a minute, right? It's like the sucker, he grows legs and he runs off. Like, and where's he going? He's probably hanging out with uh, half a dozen soccer sets that I lost and that my favorite pair of socks. What are they doing when they get together? What are they prepping, right? What, what are they prepping for? Like, one day you're going to wake up and all your shit you lost is going to be tying you to the bed. All right, let's get started. All right. Okay, so what I did, I got this box where I'm going to put everything in it, all the, all the stuff in it. Too. I prepped the box already. So what you got here, I cut a hole for my light switch. I cut a hole for the little light bulb that's going to come out. I made uh, holes for the for the, the sign rain to go into, right? And I cut holes on both sides, on top and bottom, where this is going to anchor to a tree or whatever you're going to anchor it to, right? Okay, so let's get started. What you're going to do first, right, you're going to make a, a simple circuit, all right? You're going to take your battery thing, right? You're going to obviously put batteries in it. Okay, here we go, right? and this battery, right? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna make a simple circuit, right? See, I got two wires at the end of the, the light switch. It's a good little light switch, all right? And what else I did to the light switch, what you wanna do, because you're gonna have to tie string into it, I drilled two holes straight through in the light switch, right on the switch. Two holes where I'm gonna loop my fishing line through where it's gonna act as my trip wire guide pull the switch down. Okay? All right, so what I have here, okay, is a, a circuit. Well, I'm going to make a circuit. It's easy. You put how you make a circuit. If you don't know how to make it, you know, we learned in high school, you're going to go from red into the switch, then back out again with another red, right? You're going to come off the siren, right, with another, with, onto red, red to red, And then, if you see, if you go to the black, to black, you get a little siren. But what we're going to do, we're going to add a light into this also. All right, so you're going to take a, a piece of red wire, right? You're going to cut the red wire, right? You're going to take a piece of black wire, and you're going to cut that wire, all right? And now I'm going to strip them. I'm going to strip them, right? And I'm going to solder the black wire to one prong on the, the light bulb receptacle and solder a red one on the other side. So I, okay, now what I did, see how I did over here? I soldered the two sides, you know, a red wire and a black wire to my little light bulb uh, thing here. Okay, I'm just showing you right now before we put it all together in the box. 
this it's a very simple little circuit. So what you're going to do is, you know, basically you guys probably all know how to do this already. So, but I'm just going to show the people that might not. It's not fair to them. We got to keep them with us. You know what I'm saying? People are learning. Have patience. Have patience with them. All right. So what are you going to do? Now I got that. What I'm going to do is take the black wire, attach it to this black wire. All right. Let me shut that off so it doesn't scare me. Let me see. And I'm going to attach it to this black wire. Okay, so what you have here, red going into the switch, red coming out of the switch. So one wire is going to red on the bulb, one, then I made another wire red going to the siren, right? Then the black to the black, black to the black, then black to your battery pack, right? When you turn the switch on, look. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's what happens. All right, so that's going to be your little early warning device. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put in a nice little package, the little box. I made prep. I cut my holes out where everything's going to line up, right? So let me show you how it's done. We're gonna, let's put this sucker together, all right? Okay, now I got everything mounted, right? Quite simple. I used screws, I mounted the switch in. What I did with the battery pack, I put some epoxy on the bottom and epoxied it, right? I got my little uh, light thing here. There's better light stuff you could buy, right? So this is all, it's all mounted in this one part of the box. I don't got any of my wires connected yet, right? What I'm going to do, I'm going to run my wires for my siren inside that little hole I made, you know, put it right into the box. Here we go. And we're going to pull these through. All right, all right. So that's what you got on the inside. You get your battery, your switch, you, everything is ready to go. On the other side, you have your switch. See the switch over there? You got your light. What I'm going to do with the light? There's better lights. You, you can buy the lights that you could push in, and they got a nut you could screw down. Well, I just didn't have it right now, so I'm trying to show you something fast. All right. What I'm going to do is just going to throw a little epoxy around that, and it's going to seal it right in. All right. And I got my uh, my alarm. Uh, mount it right to the front, and there we go. That's the front of it. Okay, a light, a siren, and a switch. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to wire it all up. All right, simple, very simple to wire up. Okay, we got all our wires all over here, hanging out. Look at them, they're all having fun. Okay, you're going to go right from the battery. Right, so we're going to move these. Okay, so you got your battery wire. I'm going from the battery wire here to my switch. Okay, gonna just put them on, like I showed you before. Now for my switch, I'm coming out with another red wire. I'm gonna go to my light. I'm gonna put my light on it, right? And I'm gonna put my siren on it. Okay, twist them up good, right? Now, like I said before, with the black, I'm going to go from the light black to the battery black. Okay. I'm going to go from the siren black to the battery black. Very simple. You probably learned this in high school. I don't know why I'm, I'm boring you right now. But, hey, for the people who don't know, who have been eating too much ice cream all their life and they're just starting to learn, here we go. Now, that's simple circuit lineup. I turn it on, everything works, all right? See? Everything goes on. There we go. We're all wired up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some uh, little solder on these and then clean them up with some duct tape. I mean, with some uh, with some electrical tape. First, I'm going to put, drop, I like to drop little bits of solder on it. It makes it hold it in better. All right? And I'm going to duct and I'm going to put some uh, black electrical tape around them also. Okay? I'll be right back. My solder on my wires. I put some electrical tape on it. What you're going to do is just snug these wires in here, right? But you want to keep them away from these holes, you, these two holes over here on top and bottom. That's going to be your mounting holes where you're going to mount this. You're going to put your screws through them and mount them to a tree or whatever you want to do with them, right? But you got to keep the wires away from that so you don't screw through the wires, okay? So there you go. you got that whole setup. Everything's all ready to go. It's all ready to do some business. All right, so like I said, now you just close it up.
right? And there you go. You got a little security device you could put in the woods or around your house, anything, with a trip wire, right? And you got the, the wire going into your box here. You got your light. So, uh, all right. I got a pen here, right? Okay, and a piece of paper. And this is how you're going to do it. You got a tree, right? A yeah, nice little tree. Boom. My trees ain't that good. It ain't that good. That's my tree. All right, and say there's another tree, you know, over here. Right? What you're going to do, you're going to take this device, right? And what you want to do, you want to mount it high. The reason why I say high, you want to mount it high. So the higher you are, so nobody can mess with it, and so and so, right? And plus, the light that's on the device, you want to point that towards your house, all right? So whatever tree you got this on, you want to make sure you could get a line of sight on that light. So if it is dark, dark out and the siren goes off, you got one here, you got one there, you get a better idea where you can hear the noise and you can see the light. So you want to mount them high. And what you're going to do, you're going to use eye hooks, right? You're going to put an eye hook here, an eye hook here, and then an eye hook on the other tree. Right? So you got an eye hook, eye hook, eye hook. What you do, you're going to run that fishing line that's attached to your switch through your eye hooks, bring it around, and tie it to the other high eye hook. Right? So by doing that, make sure you tie it with a nice, nice tension where you can almost pull the, the, the switch down. Right? So now when somebody walks through, that's my little guy. When somebody walks through your little trip wire, boom, this thing is sirens going off, lights are going on. The guy's going to say, what the hell? Would I just walk into a disco? Hey, what's going on here? You know, Bigfoot comes through, going there. Your mother-in-law wants you to fix her sink or something. You, you, you got warning. Yeah, you got warning. None of these things can sneak up into you. Let's not forget zombies and minnows. Little minnows. I make horrible pictures, but that's a minnow. That's my zombie. Don't forget all these. These are what you all you're up against. Is all this stuff. But this is going to give you an early warning. You know, this is your early warning system. All right. So I hope this helped out. Right. I think you guys generally get the idea. Right. And uh, I'll talk to you in a second. Okay, guys. Uh, I hope you got the idea. Right. So there you go. Your little. Uh, Really cheap to make, you know, very high tech. Very high tech. Look at this, it's a very high tech system. Look at that state of the arts. State of the arts in there, in your little little drill bit holder. Right? Remember, you got your switch, you got your battery, you get your little battery thing. By the way, the, uh, the buzzer is rated from anywhere from 4 to 12 volts, right? Did it say 4 to 12? Yeah. No, 6 to 12 volts, I'm sorry. And the light bulb is a six volt light bulb, right? And this little battery pack or uh, with all these batteries equals up all together to six volts, right? Very cheap to make. You know, I, the switch I found laying around, I found the switch around. Only thing I really bought is this, the design ring. I had the box laying around, right? And there you go. Early warning.